In a dramatic development at the O.R. Sambo International Airport, a 21-year-old woman was arrested for allegedly attempting to smuggle drugs into South Africa. This arrest underscores the growing challenge of drug trafficking at major international hubs. Authorities are intensifying their efforts to clamp down on illegal drug operations, and this incident serves as a stark reminder of the risks individual stake when getting involved in such activities. Of course, we are going to dive into the details of this shocking case. We are also going to explore how it fits into the broader issue of drug trafficking here in South Africa and what the future holds in the fight against this illicit crime. Drug trafficking has long plagued South Africa, a country often used as a key transit point for narcotics. With its well-connected transportation routes, South Africa has unfortunately become a hotspot for drug mules and organized crime. All Arutsambo International Airport, the country's busiest airport, is frequently targeted by traffickers. They exploit its status as a major transit hub, attempting to move drugs through its routes or gates and of course to other regions. Over the years, South African authorities have stepped up security measures, making several arrests and seizing large quantities of illegal substances. However, traffickers often recruit young, vulnerable individuals to act as drug mules, hoping to slip through security unnoticed. This particular arrest of a 21-year-old woman highlights a tragic trend of young people being exploited by dangerous criminal networks. While the arrest took place after law enforcement at O.R. Tambo International Airport received a tip-off, the young woman traveling on an international flight was identified as a potential drug mule. Suspicious behavior during security checks prompted a more thorough investigation, leading officials to discover a significant amount of drugs hidden in her luggage. Preliminary tests confirmed that the substances were narcotics, though the exact type and quantity are still being determined. The woman, now in police custody, faces serious charges related to drug smuggling. The investigation is ongoing and authorities are trying to determine if she is part of a larger trafficking network. While trafficking at the O.R. Tambo is actually something that has been very much rampant, this arrest is one of the many in a broader crackdown on drug smuggling at the O.R. Tambo International Airport. Law enforcement has been vigilant in their efforts using a combination of intelligence and advanced technology to detect and intercept illegal substances. However, drug traffickers continue to find new ways to bypass security, making it an ongoing battle for airport officials and of course, the South African police service. While South African airports, particularly the O.R. Tambo, are critical in the fight against drug trafficking as they serve as key entry points into the country. The heightened security measures combined with increased cooperation between local and international agencies have led to more frequent arrests. This suggests that while the threat remains, authorities are gaining ground in the battle to stop drug mules and traffickers from using South Africa as a transit route. Well, uh, a question that many people should be asking is why exactly young people become drug mules? I mean, the case of a 21-year-old woman shines a spotlight on the troubling trend of young people being used. This also raises questions about the socioeconomic factors driving such decisions. While in regions where poverty and unemployment are high, drug traffickers exploit young people's desperation, luring them into criminal activities with promises of quick and of course easy money. While uh, law enforcement responses and the way forward following this arrest, the South African government and airport security have reiterated their commitment to combating drug trafficking. The SAPs and custom officials at the O.R. Tambo continue to work closely with international counterparts, exchanging information and conducting joint operations to dismantle drug smuggling networks. Guys, 
tell me in the comment section why do you think young people are being drawn into drug trafficking and what can be done to prevent this leave your thoughts just down in the comment section